welcome to the House of Bread videos. Welcome, Will. Thank you. I'm just drying out. <laughs> yes, we are back for a second week in a row. Next week, we'll be able to have Hob News back, and our um, campaign style videos yes. will be returning, which is what these are really. So let's crack on. Last week we spoke about when the next tranche of restrictions come into effect. We'll be opening back up fully at Cafe 43. We said in these videos we'd go into depth about the different activities and the different things and the different opening times that are going to be happening at Cafe 43. This week, this video, we're going to be talking about when the cafe is open for everybody. Yep. Cafe style come in, not the activities, we'll go into those in different videos. So Will, briefly, first up, week? Monday. big old change. <laughs> yes. Big, big old change, big. first and foremost, we used to be open from the morning till the evening. We still are going to be, but there's going to be a little bit of change in between. There is. So, describe what it is and why. Okay. Um, so the first thing that people will see is that we've split the day up into three segments. Right. So you've got 9 o'clock till 11 o'clock, and then you've got 12 o'clock till 2 o'clock, and then 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Well done. Well remembered. And uh, the idea of that is to demonstrate to our friends that there's a pattern to the day. Mm -hmm. So you do have breakfast in the morning, you have lunch, and then you have a meal in the evening. Yeah, whatever uh, you want to call those. Dinner, <laughs> whatever, yeah, in, yeah. lunch, afternoon, meal. <laughs> yeah. uh, and this is part of our uh, approach to include more people, but also to offer a slightly different way that the cafe is going to be open. So those two hour breaks that yeah. we are going to be closed between... Um, breakfast and lunch yeah. and lunch and dinner or whatever you want or to call summer. it. Okay. We, we did that because we were able to, in this past year, take a step back and how we were before, open from the very morning, yeah. closing in, in the evening, was, was great. But in our looking back and, and understanding how we operate, we felt it left a bit of a gap there for a lot of our friends to just come in and the day disappears. Yeah. Didn't know what time of day it was. It was just time just yeah. disappeared in the cafe so creating that structure will it will allow our friends to operate in the time that the rest of the world yeah. operates in it's quite clear that for a lot of people as Jack has just said who perhaps come and spend all day here in an unstructured way we're not actually really helping them get an impression of what it's like in the real world um, because actually yeah, you can't do that um, and it's the same with trying to make people ready for appointments so if they know there's an appointment in the afternoon or there's an appointment in 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 the morning we're trying to give them these those time slots that make it more like the world that, that we all live in um, we do that with kindness and compassion and care and care we're not we're not saying it's going to be an easy easy journey but if we don't challenge our friends we're not going to change them mm -hmm. so that's what you're going to start seeing you're going to see much more structure uh, and guidance to what it's actually like out in the real world in preparation for those folks who will make that jump and can sustain change otherwise we're just going around in that vicious, vicious circle. circle so we've got those times we've broken yeah. up monday to friday yeah. we've got those three sections all um throughout the day some of those are taken up by closed activities like i said we'll go into um in further videos the opening times will pop up yeah. save us trying to remember <laughs> what they are um but so we've got opening times throughout the week yeah. we've split up the week into various slots and over half the slots are available yeah. for everyone to come down we, we thought that was really important will to have over half of the available slots to have the cafe fully open to show that we do want people to come down and yeah. we are open to help everybody yeah. regardless of their situation so that could be you guys at home coming down to support us it could be somebody who needs um, a, a cheaper meal because we yeah. will be pay as you feel as always so if you want to give anything you can or our homeless friends to come in and eat for free but it was yeah. important to have over half our time open yeah. to everyone will yeah and, and that was crucial because we've got to make this sustainable um, mm. and some of the, den the the work that we do is very complex it's very emotional it's very time consuming and takes up a lot of our volunteers and our case workers um, led by Alex to to really get behind our friends and we've got over the last year 14 months I suppose with Covid 
a, a much closer relationship with our friends. So we have a journey where we've already started and we want to continue that. And part of that, again, is going back to trying to um, normalise people's um, day to make sure they get their appointments, that they're awake at the appropriate time. Um, this is all trying to get them ready for the world that is out there, which is which is full on hard going. Um, yeah. And our friends are coming from a hole in the ground. So we've got to get them to that base level and then move them forward. And we think all of this and the way that we're going to operate, it gives them plenty of open access, plenty of structure um, to start making some differences. So when the cafe is open, yes. it's going to be slightly different it to is. what people have been used to. We're going back yeah. really yeah. in time to how we used yeah. to operate. So we're going to have set tables. We're going to have um, table service. Um, we're going to have people with little, like, oh, what would yeah. you like? Waiting on staff. Yes. So why is that important, Well, We want to try again to give the experience of what it would be like in a regular cafe or coffee shop in town. Um, if we're expecting our friends to be able to feel comfortable to step into some of those uh, ve venues, and I won't mention all the names because there's lots of choices, um, then we've got to give them an experience of what it's like actually to step into a into a cafe that is, is for every every mm. person and so the idea is that yeah as people are met and greeted um, we make an, a, a, an assessment whether they need help which we can do straight away the idea of, of giving them a bit of self-esteem that actually you or I might go over to the table and say you know what would you like here is a menu um, give them some real sense of uh, pride um, in, in coming in here um, and so that, that that's an experience that they could then translate to some of the venues in town um, it's and that's going to be great it's yeah. going to be different so, like you said, we're really giving a, a, a self-esteem boost to our friends and treating them like human beings, not, yeah. oh, you know, come on in, get what we're giving yeah. and then it's on your way. It's not about the minimum, it's about the maximum we can, mm. that we can give, the maximum presentation. So let's make sure we've got matching cutlery, let's make sure it looks good and, and, and um, operates well. Why wouldn't you want to do that? The difference in terms of our friends' well-being and, and their self-esteem we can see that change happen and that's part of that holistic approach um, to when they go to somewhere else and that they have an attention span which is increased they're not uh, angry and, and anxious and that they know what the experience is like and that will make a difference and again it is open for everybody yep. it's it's a regular cafe yes we will be going into detail with Alex about how we will be looking after people when our friends pop in or, or anybody who comes in and needs a bit of support um, there's some color coding going on um, so that that's really exciting so look out for Alex describing yeah. um, how our casework is going to operate within that but yes that is how cafe 43 is going to operate when the next set of restrictions come out we again we'll flash up and on the outside we'll have our opening yeah. times for the full cafe the other times uh, there will be things going on while the cafe is going on but again in mm -hmm. future videos we'll explain what those are we've got loads of different organizations coming in and offering support perhaps even haircuts we've got so much stuff um, planned we've also got the closed uh, sessions like we described um, such as Bread Church Crafty House but we'll go into more of that in the future but until then we are going to leave you alone we've rambled on we're getting <laughs> slightly better at yeah. these it is like pulling teeth getting back into the groove of doing this thank you very much Will for joining me that's all right Jack I'm, I'm excited I'm hoping people will come down and, and come and experience yeah. Cafe 43 we're gonna yeah. have some yeah. cracking food yeah that's not just chicken, although a lot of chicken <laughs> will be on it. Thanks, KFC and Nando's. We are going to be back in the future, like I said, next week. And then we've got Hob News coming up. So exciting times if you like seeing our faces and hearing our voices. If not, tough luck. <laughs> we shall see you soon. Thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you for liking and sharing these videos and getting them out to everybody in Stafford and the wider world. But until next time, thank you very much. As always, goodbye. goodbye.